Hey everyone, I'm Midori from Vengage, and today I'd like to share with you the eight biggest graphic design trends of 2018. Here at Vengage, we're always looking at what's going on in the world of graphic design so that we can create on-trend designs for our infographic templates. And we've seen a lot of trends come and go over the years, from a focus on flat design in 2014 to some extreme minimalism in 2015, and then followed up by a switch to bright, high contrast color schemes and animations in 2017. So what's happening in graphic design this year? This year is all about taking risks in graphic design. We're moving away from the minimalism of the past and starting to take bigger risks in design. So without further ado, let's review the eight biggest graphic design trends of 2018. The first major design trend we're seeing so far this year is multiple brand color schemes. Traditionally, branding has been all about establishing a consistent brand presence through consistency in things like color. So companies like Coca-Cola and Starbucks have basically been able to pick a single color and use it through every single piece of brand collateral. But recently we've seen some companies kind of switch things up. They've rebranded with multiple brand color schemes. Spotify started doing this a couple years ago using a bunch of different color schemes across their social media and ad campaigns. And Dropbox followed suit last year with a big rebrand that, in their words, juxtaposed color pairs in bold, unexpected ways. We've even seen eBay catch on to that this year, injecting some bold colors into the backgrounds of their product shots. As companies are looking for new ways to rebrand and connect to younger audiences, it seems like they're doing that with multiple brand color schemes. The second major design trend this year is color gradients. Unlike the bad gradients of the past, the gradients we're seeing this year are a little bit more tasteful, so bright two-color gradients that are adding some dimension to the background of websites and landing pages and social media images. Speaking of social media, that brings me to our next big graphic design trend of this year, better branded social media images. People seem to be taking images on social media a little bit more seriously this year, replacing generic stock photos with some more custom images which makes sense. I mean, I'm much more likely to click on an image that looks like this as opposed to one that looks like this. Social media is also a great place to add a little bit of personality and start to humanize your brand. Like Moz has done this year using some more playful images in their tweets. All right, so design trend number four is unconventional color schemes. Like we've seen with some of the other top trends I've mentioned already, um, multiple color schemes and color gradients, it seems like this year is all about color. Just take a look at what Fast Company is doing with their print covers this year. One month it's pink and blue to pastel tones, and another month it's highly saturated neon pinks and blues. Then if we turn to their online presence, they're using weird, almost jarring color schemes all over the place. Moving on from color, trend number five is all about bold and handwritten fonts. As we move away from minimalism in design, bold handwritten fonts are starting to take center stage. These stylized fonts are growing in popularity and more and more we're seeing them used almost as a feature of design. Some of my personal favorites are Adidas, uh, who are using handwritten style fonts as a focal point, and also Adobe, who seems to be embodying most of the trends I've already mentioned so far, which is custom fonts, unconventional uncon color schemes, and bold gradients, all in the same images. The sixth trend we're seeing this year is even more custom illustrations. Last year, we saw designers start to move away from cookie cutter graphics and start creating more custom graphics, like more playful illustrations and icons. This trend has continued to explode this year in both print and web design, with brands doubling down on custom illustrations. Um, and like you can see with what Envision and Trello have done this year, some are even carving out their own personal illustration styles. As people are looking for more authenticity in all parts of their digital life, these custom illustrations really appeal to that. Taking the idea of custom illustrations even further, our next big trend is better custom GIFs. People have been using GIFs to communicate online for a while now, um, usually within messaging apps or on Twitter, and we seem to love them because they're just so good at wrapping up a sentiment that's really hard to express in words. So traditionally GIFs have just been used to communicate simple reactions, but now we're starting to see people create custom GIFs for, for blog headers and for social media. Some of my personal favorites are the more simple, super stylized ones that are a little bit silly, like the ones we see from Muesli and UX Planet. Now that we've covered GIFs, it's time to talk about their more refined cousins, cinemagraphs, which is the last trend we're seeing this year. A cinemagraph is like a GIF, 
but the movement in a cinemagraph is refined to a very small part of the image. Um, and they're typically looped so that they're completely seamless. Since they're often less intrusive than a GIF or video, they're a lot easier to work into branding or marketing material, but they have that little bit of movement that helps them stand out against images. We're seeing them appear more and more in the branding materials of design and tech-focused startups. So that's it. In graphic design this year, we're seeing risky, bold concepts and even riskier color schemes. But now I'd like to turn it over to you. Which design trend do you want to see more of this year? Do you want to see more bold handwritten fonts or unconventional color schemes? Let me know right now by leaving a comment below. And don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more videos like this as soon as they come out. And don't forget to check out our infographic templates at vengage.com to see some of these trends in action. Thanks for watching.